are you doing good for the wrong reasons father i want to crucify my flesh i if i am doing things for the wrong reasons change my heart to the, uh, so they would be done without my personal agenda amen how you can get in line with god's spirit since we live by the spirit let us keep in step uh, with the spirit spirit thank you for being a constant presence in my life give me the faith to take practical even radical action to keep in step with you so that you can love my spouse and other thoughts uh, in uh, me in a way that might lead uh, to great relationship amen satan divides and the holy spirit units have nothing to do with the fruitless the deeds of darkness but rather expose them it is shameful even to uh, mention what the this uh, disobedient do in secret but everything exposed by the light becomes visible and everything that is illuminated becomes a light this is why it is said wake up sleep and rise from the dead and Christ which will shine on you Heavenly Father expose the lies of darkness that I have accepted as true wake me elevate me shine the light of Jesus on my home and my relationships amen is marriage still relevant live on marriage is an archaic institution relevant for enlightenment that's why I, a man leave his father and mother and is united to his wife and they become one flesh God when I begin to doubt the validity, validity of marriage convict me of your purpose in marriage for my good and your glory amen what really makes you happy lie number two you can't be happy unless you are married not to the unmarried and the widows i say it is good for them to stay unmarried married i would like you to be free from concern an unmarried man is concerned about their lord's affairs how he can please the lord but a married man is concerned about the affairs of this world how he can please his wife and his interests are divided an unmarried woman or virgin is concerned about the lord's affairs he her aim is to be devoted to the lord in both uh, body and a spirit but a married woman is concerned about the uh, affairs of uh, this world how she can please her husband i am saying this for your own good not to rest, uh, restrict you but that you may uh, live in a right way in undivided dev uh, devotion to the lord even if father god your word says in your presence there is uh, fullness of joy i lay claim to that truth right there right now no matter what my circumstances might be turn my heart toward you as uh, my uh, source of uh, uh, true full, uh, fulfillment filling me until i am full in need of nothing else amen 
are you completely complete lie number three your spouse will complete you for this reason i kneel before the father from whom every family in heaven heaven and on earth uh, uh, derives its name i pray that out of his uh, glorious riches uh, he may strengthen you with power through his uh, spirit in your inner being so that uh, Christ um, may devil in your heart through faith and I pray that you being rooted and uh, established in love may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of uh, Christ and to know this uh, love that is, uh, surpasses knowledge that you may be filled uh, to the measure of all the fullness of God. Heavenly Father, show me where I am depending on others to uh, complete me rather than receiving my completeness in Christ. Ref uh, refocus the expectations uh, I place on others to complete me. I know I was uh, designed to be filled by you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Marriage is a big team effort. Life for you too can handle this on your own. Let us hold on uh, uh, unswervingly in uh, to the hope of uh, we uh, prof profess for for he who promised is faithful. He let us consider how we may uh, spur uh, one and uh, another untoward love and good deeds not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of uh, doing but encountering one another and all the other more as uh, you see the day uh, approaching god i accept that i am not an, uh, an island i need you i need what you provide through others when things are taught, I confess my prideful, independent flesh patterns make me willing to accept your grace, wisdom, and support through others. Show me whom you want me to connect with uh, today. Amen. There is a uh, what uh, true about you and prayer and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of uh, pray prayers and requests holy spirit i need your help here i am excited about the opportunity to pray without ceasing using all kinds of prayers and requests right now begin to open my mind to the possibilities of intimate conviction, uh, conversation with you, the one who passionately loves and lives inside me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Burning your bridge. Life 5. Div divorce is an option. Holy Spirit, you are the great counselor, and by your counsel, I burn my bridges. I am all in until death do we part. Jesus, I no longer we live, but you live in me. I fully surrender to your leadership. Father, the battle belongs to you. I rest in you and trust in you to bring us to a point of victory over the world, the flesh, and the devil. Amen. For the good of your kids, 
Life thinks the kids will be better if we divorce. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the, the other up. A cord of this is uh, the tree of three stands is not quickly broken. Even if for the God, for the good of my kids and everyone around me, I place myself in your hands. Show me how I can be a better spiritual leader to them by working in your spirit today. Amen. On the doorstep of what God has for you, lies seven, your marriage is hopeless. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast uh, because they trust in you. I will repay you for the years of uh, locusts have eaten. Heavenly Father God, in the midst of these ter troubles, I trust in you and you alone. Heal my heart and give me hope for my relationship. I fix my hope on you. Focus my mind on you and depend on you to live through me so that I can walk in your spirit today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Marriage is definitely worth it. Like eight, marriage isn't worth the bother. From the fruit of their lips, people are filled with good things, and the work of their hands brings them reward. He who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord. There are three things that are uh, too amazing for me, uh, for that I do not um, understand. The way of an eagle in the sky, the way of the snake on a rock, the way of a sheep on the high seas, and the way of a man with a young woman, a wife of noble character who can find. She is worth far more than uh, rubies. Even if, Father God, renew my mind according to your truth. Take my worn out heart and strengthen it. I cannot fix this uh, on my own. So I ask you to be a work in my ma uh, married life. Use it all, good and bad, to conform me to your son and give me the conviction that it is worth it. Amen. Battling for truth in your marriage. Therefore, I urge you, but brothers and sisters, I view in of God's mercy to offer your bodies uh, as a living sacrifice holy and uh, pleasing to God this is your true and uh, proper worship do not conform to the uh, pattern of this uh, world but be transformed by the renewing uh, of your mind then you will be able to test and uh, approve uh, what God's uh, will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Holy Spirit, show me right now the lies that are oppressing my marriage. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke Satan, who is father of those lies. Renew my mind, reveal uh, to me how specific changes that you want to make. I surrender to you now. 
live through me uh, moment by moment today according to your truth amen hallelujah amen